With rounding questions and asking in terms of estimation, what one trick they can throw in there that might throw you off initially is the way they describe what you're rounding to. In this case, they say, what is 66.45 rounded to the nearest integer? So what does that mean? Well, an integer, here's our symbol for integers, is really just a whole number, right? Because integers include 0 and 1, and they also include the negative whole numbers. So any positive or positive or, or negative whole number and so forth is an integer. So really they're asking you to round this to the nearest whole number because, well, this is already positive. And this positive um, number is much closer to any positive integer than any negative integer. So how do we do this? Well, 66.45, right, this is our tens place. This is our ones place. This is our tenths place, or one tenth. And this is the number of hundredths, or one one hundredths. So we need to use these numbers to round to the nearest whole number, which of course is this number right here. So what do we do? Well, you could just tell that either this will be rounded up to 67, right, or, or it'll stay at 66 because the number 66.45 is between these two numbers, right? You can picture it, 66 and almost a half, right? 0.45 is almost one half. So how, how many tenths, right? Or excuse me, how many hundredths are between 66 and 67? Well, if you count the number of hundredths here, here are up to 45 hundredths. So how many are there altogether? Well, there are a hundred, right? Because there's 0, 0, 0, 1, so what is that? 66.00, 66.01, 66.02, all the way up to 66.99, right? So all of these, 99, down to 0, 0, let's, let's subtract those two, we get 99, but we're counting 0, 0, so you add 1, there's a total of 100 hundredths. Right? We we're trying to think about the distance between 66 and 67. So the basic logic in rounding is saying, okay, what do you have? You have 66.45. What's it closer to? Is it closer to 66 or 67? Well, the answer is closer to 66. And the general rule that we use is that if your number is sitting at 66.5 and is exactly halfway between these two numbers, then you round it up. But if it's anything below this mark, right, 66.49, 0 .48, you round it down. So that's what we can look for here. And you, you can almost recognize it right away that 0.45 is less than 0 0.50. And we, the rule that we generally accept on these most state, state tests is that if you see halfway or above, then round up to the next whole number. All right, thanks.